you used to look for those alpha type kids that were going to be your leaders on the team. Well, I, I think that our senior class is, they're all that way. And uh, they don't talk with their uh, mouths so much, so much, but uh, you know they, they show with three things through action and how they work. One, two, three, family! What type of song do you not want on your highlight reel? Country. Gospel. Mozart. What song would I not like? Uh, pretty much like just like kind of the rock stuff. Song. I'd choose Fireflies by Owl City. I mean, it's a good song, but it's not not a hype up song. Uh, probably any like love songs. I don't think those would be good on any highlight reel. Um, anything that is country. Man, I feel like a woman. I feel like that'd be better for like BHS or Century or Man Dan.
Uh, my favorite Sabres football memory. Um, it's just got to be airing it out before practice, throwing the deep ball, um, and pretending I can be a quarterback because I know dang well I can't in the game. Would probably have to be playing on ESPN and scoring my touchdown on ESPN. That would be unforgettable. Um, um, probably beating Mandan this year and beating BHS last year was pretty cool. Uh, my favorite uh, Sabre football memory would be uh, when we got to play on ESPN. Probably have to be last practice of this year. Even though we didn't really know it was our last practice, uh, you know, had to return that uh, kickoff to the 50 yard line. I mean, most of our returners can't even do that, so there you know. It would definitely be, definitely be, be beating BHS last year or my junior year. That was awesome. Um, I'd probably choose. Uh, UND camp as a sophomore. I mean, it was a good experience, a fun time. Um, Mine is when we uh, beat BHS when I was a junior. Well, it was definitely um, being BHS junior year, kind of just coming out and showing out. It's probably beating mine out on senior night and playing on ESPN. Uh, my favorite Sabre moment slash memory was uh, catching a touchdown pass against Mandan in overtime. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life Uh, my favorite coach's story would probably have to be every single defensive line drill with Lars. Uh, there's never a dull moment there. I mean, the guy always finds a way to uh, have fun. My favorite coach's story would be when Coach Clem uh, shares inspirational quotes with the team. Definitely all the things that Lars does at practice. I don't think I could say that on here, but definitely that. Uh, I would say probably anything that Lars has to say, he can come up with some pretty crazy stuff. So uh, anything that Lars says is pretty, pretty memorable. Number three, what is my favorite coach's story? When JC thought he could be a quarterback in practice junior year and he threw three straight picks. Uh, if it were to be anything, it'd just be like what Lars says all the time, the phrases he says. Um... <laughs>
My fav favorite coach's memory is when we were playing Jamestown this year and I got the wind knocked out of me. And then when I came off to the sideline, Lars and Clem asked me what happened. When I told them, uh, Lars was just like, ah, you pussy. And <laughs> Clem just said, hey, just don't do that. Uh, my favorite coach's story. So freshman year when we went up to Grand Forks to play Red River, I remember before the huddle, uh, before the game, we were in the locker room and uh, Lars was giving us a good talk and he was into it and he likes to work out before he gives his speeches. So. I remember as a little freshman just getting drenched in Lars spit and Lars sweat. So that's, that's got to be my favorite coach's memory. And I feel that chill, smell that fresh cut grass I'm back in my helmet, cleats and shoulder pads Standing in the huddle, listening to the call Fans going crazy for the boys of fall didn't let just anybody in that club Took every ounce of heart and sweat and blood To get the wear those game day jerseys down the hall The kings of the school, man, where the boys are fall Well, it's turn and face the stars and stripes it's Fighting back them butterflies It's calling in the air All right, yes sir, we want the ball And it's knocking heads and talking trash It's slinging mud and dirt and grass It's I got your number, I got your back When your back's against the wall You mess with one man You got a song Boys of fall In little towns like mine, that's all they got Newspaper clippings fill the coffee shops The old men will always think they know Young girls will dream about the boys of fall. Well, it's turn and face the stars and stripes. It's fighting back them butterflies. It's calling in the air all around. Yes, sir, we want the ball. And it's knocking heads and talking trash. It's slinging mud and dirt and grass. It's I got your number, I got your back. When your back's against the wall You mess with one man You got a soul I got your number, I got your back When your back's against the wall You mess with one man You got a song The boys are fall Where the boys are fall
experience in three words or less. I would just say family and fun. I'd say pretty fun and awesome. Unforgettable memories. In football career, it's got to be straight up fun, um, gratifying, and just memorable. Three words or less, it was fun. I think the only two words I need is short and fun. I would say it was fast, it was very fun. It would be uh, exciting and very rewarding. It's, it's a good time being out in the field with your buddies. I guess I just say, uh, it was, it was just fast and awesome. Fast and awesome. Yep, that's it. And it was a brotherhood that I will definitely never forget and I'm so thankful to be a part of. So I'll describe it as unforgettable memories. But it's way too short. I mean, at the end of the season, you always wish there was more time, but during the season, I mean, it, it, it seems like a long time, but it's never long enough. I would have to say a brotherhood. Uh, describe my Sabres football experience in three words or less. Uh, probably thank you. There's really no better way to put it. There could not have been a better coaching staff or better parents around the field. It really made my last two years of football probably the greatest two years of high school I've ever had. So thank you. Yeah.